What's going on you guys? This is New York Adventure 1994 here and I'm back with another video. It's still Monday, August 21st, 2023 and I just finished making the 2017 Solar Eclipse Anniversary video and now I have a tropical update to share with you guys. So, we have a lot of activity going on in the Atlantic Ocean right now. We have about like five systems in the Atlantic. Emily is on its remnant and it's supposed to be its last natural hurricane center advisory. Gert was supposed to be short lived. It was a, it was supposed to stay as a tropical depression. And then all of a sudden they detected forty miles an hour winds in the system that it temporarily became tropical storm Gert, but for a very short period of time. And now it's back to a depression. It's, a, it's supposed to weaken pretty soon and dissipate, just like what's happening with Emily. And we have a disturbance coming off the coast of Africa with 40% chance in two days and a 70% chance in five days. So that thing's expected to rapidly turn to something, probably. And now we have Tropical Storm Franklin, which is expected to make landfall in the Dominican Republic. And Tropical Storm warnings are placed there. And once this thing leaves the Dominican Republic, it's going to become a hurricane once it goes out into the open waters. But there's one problem, though. It could affect Bermuda. We really need to keep an eye on this thing and see where it goes because... Who knows what could happen. Hopefully best case scenario it stays out in the open waters and doesn't affect anyone else after it passes the Dominican Republic. So if you guys live in the Dominican Republic you, you guys need to be on high alert for Tropical Storm Franklin. Prepare for flooding, heavy rainfall and heavy winds. And we have Tropical Depression 9 which is expected to make landfall in Texas. Regardless of developments, it's expected to bring rainfall to the east end of Texas. Regardless of development. But I really think it's going to become a tropical storm pretty soon because the Gulf waters is pretty warm. And our next name storm will be Tropical Storm Harold. So I think Harold is going to make an impact on Texas. It could become a tropical storm pretty soon. And the funny thing is that we're getting another H name to impact Texas like six years after Hurricane Harvey made landfall in Texas and brought all this flooding to Houston. But we don't really joke about that. That was a pretty serious hurricane. About Hurricane Harvey when it, when it impacted Texas... It was supposed to like weaken back to its like remnant and then all of a sudden it went to the Gulf and then rapidly intensified to a Cat 4 hurricane. And then it caused all this damage to Houston which is not a joke at all. But believe it or not Tropical Storm Harold is actually Harvey's replacement name due to all the damage it caused. And Harold is expected to bring some rainfall to sorry about that Harold is expected to bring rainfall into Texas and the northeast of Mexico and and probably there will be some wind too because it's expected to become a tropical storm at some point I'm not really seeing it becoming a hurricane, but who knows. I don't know if the National Hurricane Center is downplaying it or what. So we're going to have to see what happens. Franklin and Tropical Depression 9 are our top priority storms right now. And that disturbance coming off the coast of Africa. Who knows where that's going to go. And in the Pacific... Hillary is on its remnants, and it's currently probably in in Nevada or something. I, I don't really know. And 
we have a disturbance coming soon in the Pacific with a 30% chance in 7 days. So we have a lot of hurricane activity happening. And I think it has to do with the fact that we're going to an El Nino, but there's a lagging La Nina effect. I mean, the La Nina effect could have could like come back in the winter. Who knows? But it looks like a lagging La Nina effect right now, despite the fact that we're in El Nino. These are like the remnants of the La Nina we were just in. Now I think this is why the hurricanes are like cranking up. In both oceans right now. So we're going to have to see what happens. Hurricane season's really ramping up guys. So I guess that's it. Bye.